Welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show how to prepare an Inkscape SVG file that you've already created and transfer it into the Design Space software. If you note on here, each of the objects within this drawing are separate. The first thing we have to do is click and drag around them, go to the top ribbon to Object and Group. That's a critical thing before you move it to Design Space. You then say File, clean up the document, which gets rid of anything else on that document that you're not using, and then File, Save. Next thing to note is the size of the object, which is 13.409 by 7.563, as you can see here in this top ribbon. They are critical because that's the size that you wanted in design space and design space in most cases does not pick up the correct size. So let's move to design space. As you can see here, the design space provides you with the option for a new project on the top right hand side. So we press that, opens up a blank canvas and we now go to the left hand side ribbon and press upload. Ignoring anything else that's been uploaded, we want this as a new image, so we upload the image. Now, if you're on a twin screen system, you can drag and drop. But in this case, yeah, I'm using a single screen for this demonstration, so we press, press Browse, and we go looking for the file that we're looking for, which in this case is Boss Shelter's mainframes. Click on there and open, and it will transfer direct into Design Space. We now have to upload that and we press the upload in the bottom right and it will upload that into this part here. We then click on there and surround it with the green lines and tell it to add to canvas, which is the bottom right of the screen. The next thing to do, very similar to an Inkscape, as this is a group of items, you must Press this icon, which is the attach button. And that means that they will all go across into the cutting machine as one object. If you fail to do that, there will be separate items. The first check now is to see that the sizes are incorrect. This is saying that it's 6.223 by 3.5, which does not match the Inkscape sizes. And as you can see here, I've kept both screens there that the Inkscape says it should be 13.4 by 7.5. So we go into this part of the ribbon here. Unlock. Just press this little lock to make sure it's unlocked. Then within the sizes, change what's in the box to 13.409 in this case. Then go to the height and alter that to 7.563. Now have the correct size. We're now ready to actually make the actual cut. In the top right hand side, you will see make it. So we press make it, and you must use a mat when cutting the cards. You can't do it without a mat because that's for smart materials only and on card mats are for pre-folded cards. So we're going to use a mat. The size is correct in this case because I'm going to use a 30.5 by 30.5 and we confirm. And you will see that the document has kept everything together. If you haven't done everything that we said, then they will all appear as separate little items over here. We can then continue. I suggest that you always use a hardwired connection by USB to the machine. If you start using large files and you're using wireless, then it will not always complete the task. It will only do part of it and then it will drop the wireless. And before we went into here, you must make sure that your machine is actually turned on or it won't connect. Now, in this case, if we were going to cut this in for example, um, a chipboard, we'd select chipboard. 
if we were going to use heavy cardstock or magnetic sheet or whatever's on here, then you would select that. For this, I'm going to only be cutting it out on paper to save materials. But to quick look to see this browse all materials, this will give you an idea of what's within the machine. And as you can see, these are all the types of material that the, you can use on this machine. And it will pick out your favorites and store them on that opening screen. And as you can see, these are highlighted with the yellow stars. I've just highlighted these. I won't go into it, but you can go further and then alter the settings within each of the materials. So we're ready to go. We press copy paper. We're just going to go with some paper for this one, just to demonstrate. This will tell you what type of blade to use. And then you have to load the mat and press the load and upload button on the machine. I'm going to stop there and break for the second video, which will actually carry on from there, loading the material onto the machine and performing the cut.